Welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to give you a first example on inverse Laplace transforms. But to be good at inverse Laplace transforms, you need to first be very good at Laplace transforms. And I say that because what we're going to do here is manipulate this expression. And in its manipulation, when we see a familiar Laplace transform appear, we need to be able to recognize it. So basically, we need to break this up into recognizable Laplace transforms. That's why it's very important to first be good at Laplace transforms before you work on inverse Laplace transforms. With that said, what we're given is this here, yeah? Okay, and this here, we could write like this here. Uh, and um, all I've done is I've split this 5 into a 4 plus 1. And I wanted to move in this direction because here, uh, s squared plus 4s plus 4 is the perfect square s plus 2 all squared. Okay, cool. So recognizing that, we could write this here, right? Okay, cool. Now, this looks like a familiar Laplace transform, but not quite. It looks like the cosine Laplace transform shifted horizontally. But in order for us to claim that, that this is the cosine Laplace transform shifted horizontally, we need to have a plus 2 with this s in the numerator. So what do we do? Well, we just put a 2 in the numerator and make up for it by subtracting a 2. Okay, cool. So this is what we've got now. Now uh, we're going to next uh, split this quotient over this minus sign here. So that means that we first write uh, this here. And then next in the second quotient, we're going to factor out the minus 2 in red and write uh, that the second quotient is this here. Yeah? OK, cool. All right. Now we're on to something. Because um, remember, the Laplace transform for uh, cosine of t is equal to s divided by s squared plus 1 right okay so then so then we also saw in another video uh, so then first l let's compare that to that right but we saw another video that uh, if we uh, take the Laplace transform of uh, e to the at and multiply it by cosine t that amounts to a horizontal shift by a of the Laplace transform of cosine so this is this here up here is the same thing as um, s minus a divided by s minus a um, all squared and then plus one right okay cool so then knowing that we see that uh, this here is s minus a minus two so a is negative two and therefore therefore um, since that's what we have in s plus two s minus a minus two and a is negative two we see that what we have um, and the first quotient, this here, is e to the minus 2t uh, times cosine t, right? Okay, cool. And then uh, the second quotient, well, other than the minus 2 in red, is e to the minus 2t times uh, sine t. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, uh, that's that, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Uh, there will be more examples. Take care.